this is a video of how to um, do some basic tests on a Fisher & Paykel smart drive. Um, if On the back of the display panel you'll see two screws. You can remove the screws and underneath the display, this is the display module. Now there's um, five different colour codes for these smart drives. There's phase one to through to phase seven. Phase one uh, produced from 1991 to 1993 were blue, but they did not have a the pressure pipe on them. I've never seen a phase one machine in all my years. Phase two were blue, and they did have the pressure tube pipe on them. Produced from 93 to 95. Phase 3, 1995 to 96, quite rare. They were green. Phase 4 were yellow, 96 through to 98. Uh, from 98 through to 2001, this is phase 5, which was split into what's called series 9 and series 10. And these were dark grey. Now these five, five ones, in my opinion, were the worst ones ever built. Um, some of them were also labelled wrong, where the plugs go in, they had the wrong um, labels on the plastic moulding. Now phase six and seven are brown. And these were all split into different um, types as well. So if you do replace a phase 6 or 7 motor control unit, you must get the correct part number, which will be on the sticker there. One thing you must remember, if you do replace any of these modules, you never, ever interchange the colours. They will burn out. You must have the right, correct colour display module with the correct colour motor controller module. The machine I'm going to test today is a GW612 and this is a phase 6 type machine. Now the main wiring harnesses the colour codes have not changed throughout the whole um, smart drive productions. The three main ones here which control the motor are red, yellow, blue. Brown and white are the pump. Now the other one that cannot be tested is the rotor position sensor which is orange, grey, blue, purple and black. Everything's actually labelled on the um, phase 6 control units. The out of balance switch, the lid switch are usually red and black, both of them. The display unit which cannot be tested. So what we're going to do, we can test the pump, the motor, stator, cannot test the rotor position sensor, we can test the out of balance switch and we can test the lid switch. Oh, and some of them have a thermistor which tests the um, checks for the hot water going into the machine. And we can also test the water valves. So, what you will need is a multimeter, preferably digital multimeter. These are quite cheap to buy, or you can borrow one. Unclip the plug for the stator and pump. First of all we're testing the brown and the white. Now there's, you should get a reading of around 33 ohms. Give or take 3 ohms. Some had a different type of pump which gave a reading of 26 ohms, but they're quite rare. So the majority of all the smart drives have the Selny pump, which is around 33 ohms. We are testing the red, 
yellow and blue wires we're going to put the prongs of them between all three of them two at a time but we're testing all three uh, phase five six and seven machines will get a reading of around 32 ohms phase two through to four you'll get a reading of 12 ohms around 12 ohms phase one you'll get a reading of 2.6 uh, next we're going to test the out of balance switch which is OOB um, connected up you'll get a reading of 0, 0.0 something now what you do is you push the whole agitator to the top right of the machine you'll hear a click and then that will go to 1 which is open circuit if you release the agitator it goes back to 0, 0.0 something uh, if you open and shut the lid, you will get a reading of on or off. In some cases the lid switch can be faulty. You'll get a high reading when it is a closed circuit. Some lid switches are in the side, which are a magnetic um, lid switch. If they give a high reading, you can get some strange things that happen to your machine and you will not get an error code. The water valves can be individually tested as well. There were two types of valves. There were 12 volt valves which have a reading of 15 ohms and they were used in machines from phase 1 through to phase 4 and phase 5, 6 and 7 use 24 volt valves and they give a reading of 64 ohms give or take 3 or 4 ohms on phase 5 and 6 and 7 some of these um, plug sockets or wiring harnesses can become dirty and disconnect from themselves so if you have a faulty machine sometimes it can just be a matter of lifting the plug out and in again just to give it a good contact uh, this is the Salni type water pump and these were used throughout all smart drives so you can use these pumps in all phases this is the rotor position sensor that cannot be tested with a multimeter and these can cause all sorts of problems with the machine sometimes you will not get a fault code sometimes the machines will fill and then not agitate sometimes the pump will pulse on and off or the filling will pulse on and off and there will still be no fault code, code. Um, these are a culprit to all sorts of problems that really does pay to check or replace this just please check my other video to how to replace these rotor position sensors i hope this video has helped some people <laughs>